Well, folks from Chicago to California witnessing an amazing display in the sky overnight, and it is not over yet, if you didn't get a chance to see it. We're talking about the Perseid Meteor Shower. It's an annual event that produces as many as 100 fireballs an hour. And this year, the show is especially brilliant, thanks to an unusual alignment of the moon. Tarek Malik is the managing editor of Space.com, and he joins us again. Tariq, welcome back to the show. What, tell Thanks, us what this is. What are we looking at here? Well, the Perseid meteor shower is one of the dependable and, and, and most brilliant of the meteor showers that Earth gets to see uh, every year. They're actually they're ice and, and rock fragments, like shards of a comet. It's called Comet Swift Tunnel. Uh, and, uh, and the Earth is passing through like this, this tail, this trail left over from this comet. And when those little bits hit our atmosphere, they flare up into these brilliant, uh, these brilliant fireballs that we get to see um, for several nights uh, in mid-August. So is it just Chicago to California? Because I could have sworn that I saw two different shooting stars uh, over last weekend. I is it really just that area that sees them, or did I see something that was unrelated? Well, they're, 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 they're visible you know, to sky watchers around the world. We've, uh, at Space.com, we've gotten pictures from Croatia, from China, uh, from, uh, from uh, Maine, uh, and, and, and across the United States. I mean, basically, if you have a dark sky uh, and you're you know, relatively away from city lights, uh, you can you can see these things. They come out of a constellation, Perseus. Uh, that's where they get their name. Uh, and uh, you know, if, if you've got some time to your hands late at night, you can see them. Yeah, it's absolutely spectacular. And these pictures are so great. We encourage yeah. people to keep sending us any pictures that they have of this. Um, but there's one part of it, the Comet Swift Tuttle, uh, which which sort of surfaces only once every 130 years or so, right? Yeah, that, that's the source of these. Basically, it, as it goes through the, uh, the solar system, it leaves this, this trail of debris. Uh, the last time it was near uh, Earth and the inner solar system was in 1992. At that time, uh, the Perseid meteor shower was really brilliant. Uh, the years leading up to that, that pass. Um, this, this year, the moon is setting before the peak at night. So basically, 11 o'clock at night to you know, 2, 3 a.m. in the morning, mm. the sun's not interfering at that point. That's why this show is, is such a great Boy, it is spectacular, and these pictures are great. This is from the U.K., the one that you're looking at on our screen right now. Tariq, thank you very much. Beautiful stuff. Thanks for telling us what we're looking at. Done. Thanks a lot. Sure.